Here in node in NeoVJ, we use command create. Then uh, we set a label, product for example, and a name and a property, tomato for example. Then you run a query by clicking this button. And we can see one label, one node, one property created and set. Then you click on the data and you will see a node over here in nodes one tomato. The same technique we apply to create the other products. We run a query and we can see three more nodes. The next we have four stores. We can create them all. And in our data model we will use the person, it's you, and we create one more node. All nodes data located over here, we can see nine nodes. When you click this button over here, you will see all the nodes that you have in your data. And you can zoom out to see them all. It's you, four stores and four products. Now let's add their relationship between the product and the store. So specific product will be located in a store. We use command merge to create a relationship and it works the way that it will create once but will not create any duplicate if you run for example this code several times. Let's experiment and see. So once the relationship created, but the second time you run it, you will see no change. And the all relationship will be located over here. You can see that Aldi and Tomato located in that store. The same technique we apply to create a relationship between the other products and other stores. For each of them we create one relationship and the same technique we would use when we connect a node you and the others. Now you can see the pair between the product and the store. Now we will connect you with the product. We added one relationship and the same technique we apply for the rest. So each time we match existed node, we match the other node and then we connect them together. If you last query that we will run, in order to see all the graph that we have created so far with one node of you, four different products and four different stores. All your data located here and you can see nine nodes and eight relationships. You can click on connected nodes and we will see you in the center, we have four products and each of them 
connected to a specific store. This is how you can create nodes and relationship and once you're ready you can export this as a file 